Hey, hi, hello everybody, and welcome back to the Goat Force Gaming channel, where we play the roguelikes and the roguelites every single time. Boy, this octopus is just dead set on giving us this crowned key, isn't it? We haven't gone down here in a minute, and uh, I want to check what's down here, and then I guess I want to check in that door as well. Ah, uh, yes, so this is the guy that offers some interesting opportunities here. Killing an enemy with a grenade resets its cooldown. Deal plus 100% damage per active pet. Oh, wow. Warning, equipping an aspect prevents you from unlocking new boss cells and flawless rewards during that run. I think I'm okay with that, right? Right? All right, let's try one of these. Let's, uh, let's try and get crazy with flames this time. How about that? All right. I want to see what's in here. Well, do I? It says cross. Let's see what it is. Open. Oh, these are both open. Now right, let's take a look in here. What is this? At last. Come closer. I won't cut you. Don't worry. I'm the tailor. I can fix you up with some proper clothes. Oh. I struck a deal with our mutual friend, the collector. You bring him the templates and I will craft it for you. Interesting. Okay. Reverse burglar's outfit. <laughs> That's awesome. Oh. Very cool. From Risk of Rain. Okay, well, I uh, I would love to do that. That is just outstanding. Okay. Okay. I'm quite thrilled with this discovery. Let's check in here real quick, too. What is this? Oh, hi there. I'm not dead anymore. Welcome to my very own training room. Just pick your gear, choose your mutations, and go kill some enemies. Behind the first door, you can fight any enemy you have already encountered. There are also big doors at the back of the room, but I don't know where they lead. Okay, so this is like the danger room. I'm gonna pass on that. That is so cool. I love this costume. All right. So. Ooh, starting with the Panchaku and a grenade launch on top of it. That's awesome. I think we're gonna have a Nice fun run here as Mr. Claus. And what we're looking for is opportunities to create crazy amounts of fire. I love that we've got the bells. bell sound effects. They really they really do it for me. I don't know about you. Alright, so last time we had such a good run going and then we found out the hard way that certain weapons don't make... Ooh, I really like this one. Yeah, we're gonna go with that. Curse of the Dead Gods weapon. We found out that certain weapons... Wait, do any of these do fire? Victims burn when they die. Oh, it's the Death Sith. Oh, we loved that thing. All right. If we find the coin, we got to get the Sith. It's tremendous. And we went with the cross as a primary weapon and that just that didn't pan out too well and I had a tough time recovering from that it was just too slow of a weapon when it came down to it 
wait, does this hallway continue? I just wanted to make sure the hallway didn't continue. Uh, let's drop down there. I feel uneasy when I'm next to this monolith. I should leave fast. Uh oh. Oh, okay. What is that? Hard Light Sword 1 deals critical damage depending on the number of gun marks on the target. Recharges Hard Light's gun's ammo. That sounds like it's worth trying, doesn't it? Gun Light's ammo. Huh. Is it going to spit something else out? I should leave fast. All right. So let's recycle that and let's try the sword. Let's give it a shot. Also gives us a little bit more gold towards the purchase of the scythe that we had such a good time with that one run. Okay, don't want to go there. Uh, let's go down here perhaps? Oh, yeah. Ooh, two of them. Maybe it was just one, and that was part of it being elite. Downward smash attacks burn the ground. Yes. Okay. That... That's step one. Uh, do we want to go to Castlevania? Sure. Why not? But have we checked out the entire... Oh, wait a second. There's a pet up there. Wait a second. I'm a big fan of the pet. Especially if we can get the kind that... causes some kind of burn action for us. Okay. I think we've got enough for Scythe here. Alright. Yeah, I'd be totally fine moving over to the Scythe. I think this weapon's interesting. Um, but it is definitely not the Scythe level of interesting. Bone 2. Hitting the second attack enables a whirlwind. Right. Increases your movement speed. Yeah. We'll hold off on that. I'm gonna keep going. Seeing what we can see since we're kind of taking our time with this run. One of these days we'll try a speedier run. Where we take the first exit we see and we try to keep up with the timed doors. I really haven't done that yet, but I do think that that could be valuable. Okay, here it is. Victims burn when they die, too. I mean, that. there's a lot of good reasons to buy this. Okay, and we're going to recycle this. And now we got... The greatest weapon. The greatest. Uh, let's head out to Castlevania content, shall we? Three minutes, that's not terrible. Maybe the goat's getting a little bit faster, I don't know. Beautiful. Nope, we were just talking about the cross. Oh, wait a second. Victims burn when they die. Dang it. Um, well... Victims' remains explode. We could always re-roll that. Alright, let's do that. Maybe we end up with something that uh, does the burning, right? Just want to take a look at what else we've got here. Oh, the backpack. That would be important as well. And I am intrigued by the whip sword also. I 
God, there's there's like a lot of good things to spend the cells on, you know? All right. I'll just do a smattering across all the different options. Uh, let's do this for sure. And we're not going to re-roll that. We will upgrade this as well. Ooh. Okay. That is great. All the burning stuff is coming into play here. Castle's outskirts. I'm ready. Oh, man. I'm so happy to see it in action again. It's definitely a favorite. Oh, I got a roll. That's right. I was like, why can't I go down? Uh, it's just so powerful. And then it does the thing where it sends the evil spirits out. That liposuction. You earn one extra cell when you eliminate an enemy. This bonus lasts for 45 seconds. Wow. Okay, liposuction. Interesting. Bring the enemies on. We'll go back for that thing. I'm worried about my liposuction period. Good advantage of the liposuction thing. And it is no longer here, but I'm okay with that. I know we left the uh, valuable behind back there, but that's okay. So outstanding. Okay, hey, love seeing this. Uh, let's go with some green. Nothing over there. I mean, it feels like we just have so many different things kicking off all at once, and, uh... God, it's just wonderful. Okay, everything must go! You know, oh, goodness. Oh, that is... that's... Mm, okay, we might have to come back to that. Victims burn when they die on top of it. We can always warp back there. I mean, that's the thing. It, it looks like it's super far away and tough to get back to, but we can always warp back there. Gotta remember that. It's the nice thing about the warps. on that thing. There we go. Go to the 
Doors open now. You know, the other thing we did last time was we came across that ribbon key. Oh, look at this. Bat volley. Wow. That sounds interesting. And we unlocked that other character that was probably going to appear somehow. I don't recall her name. But she was going to provide support. And I wonder if she's wandering around somewhere in the hub area as well. We just haven't come across her yet. So I've only done so much looking around, you know. It's just so easy to jump into a run and get started right away. But I'm glad we looked around a little bit today, you know, because of the whole Santa Claus costume. We need an Easter Bunny one, you know? Uh, let's go ahead and activate that. I guess we're good over here. Let's keep going this way. I'm gonna have to warp back down to that shop at some point and refresh my memory on how expensive the cat was. I wanna come down here too. You know, this time, we're going to be super sure to head straight for the clock tower. No messing around in those more difficult areas this time, you know? Okay. Oh, jeez. Well, let's take a quick sip here. Can't go any further that way. I guess we'll double back here. Head a little bit more in this direction. See what we can see. And it's just a door that I would end up kicking and not being able to open, right? Have to figure out what the deal is with those doors. Alright, not ready yet. Not ready yet. Let's, uh... Oh, was it right there? I think it was right there, actually. Shop. Ah, uh, we don't have it. Hmm. It tells me that... Oh, so that was a kebab, and there's a status boost as well. Let's go back for both of those things. No kebab left behind, right? Is that how that goes? I'm glad uh, that was spotted. Alright, I'm gonna go with that. I guess the enemies don't come back uh, once you've taken them down. This will pull the elevator all the way down, but we don't need to do that because we can teleport. We could go further west here. Ew. Someone failed their parallel parking. 
Yeah, well. Never had to do the parallel parking test. Okay, so, you know what? There's some way to make this go higher. Maybe via an ability that we just do not have yet. Yeah, I'm not seeing anything. All right. Well, let's uh, get a move on then. Oops. getting those guys out of the air. You know, the cat would have been great, but I think we'll find more good stuff along the way. Helps us do fire damage and stuff. Um, so we've got 45 here. Put a little bit into the whip sword. Hold the attack to inflict a critical hit, create a flaming trail. Interesting. That would mean we'd have to change out a little bit in there. And the rest in there. Now I think this is good for us. I think that's okay. Plus 100% damage to a target covered in burning oil. This doesn't necessarily... Plus 70% damage to a stun target. No. Increases your movement speed for five seconds after killing an enemy. That's not bad. I know, I just spent a ton of money on that. That's okay. That's all right. Good run so far. Oh, I thought that was an enemy for a second. I'm sad that eventually we're going to have to look for weapons that can replace the scythe because, you know, I think it's, it was level three when we picked it up and we're getting to that point where it's, it's just going to become weak. What do we got here? Downward smash attacks burn the ground. Damage from projectiles reduced by 75%. That's great. Okay. Oh, got a good amount of gold back from melting that down too. Who knows, you know, maybe we'll get lucky and we'll just find an upgraded version of the scythe. I mean, that would be just tremendous. Love that. I realized that I never put out our buddy. So used to him just being active automatically. All right. Oh, 
What is this all about? Is that Richter? Opportunity to take a sip of coffee. Cheers to you. I can skip this, but I'm, I'm choosing not to. Nice little moment. Give him a little bit longer. All right, folks, you're starting to go long. So does that do anything for us? Okay, not sure. There is a room up there. See it on the map. Uh, maybe we'll run into that in another section. So many mysteries in this game. In the best way. Makes me want to figure out what the hell all this stuff is for. Very good, I see a green in there. Wait, can we go down over here? No. For a half a second, it looked like I could maybe on the map. Three options. Um, you know, I think I'm gonna go with the plus 50%. Why not, right? Plus 60% damage to a bleeding target. Covers the ground with oil that burns around you. Yeah. Not seeing much there. Um, I think we're gonna come back over here. Oops. Guy took a wrong turn at Albuquerque. Meant that one. I love that the souls follow you around for a while. I'm not sure how long they last. Oh, wow. That was a quick little aside. Um, let's go back to this one and then head up from here. Looks like something was shiny up in that wall for a second. Hit that point in the run where I, I just feel all kinds of powerful and it it's just so good in this game they, they do such a good job of giving you that feeling especially when they pour on the super speed you can just cruise around just feel like that Adonis that you know you are 
right? Okay, let's go brutality. Support our leg biting buddy this time. We're getting towards the end. We're gonna have to double back east, I think. Let's look for a portal here. Okay. Uh, yeah. I'm guessing there's a spot we can head up over here, perhaps? Yep. God, that jump attack is so good. We're gonna kill Death with his weapon. Very soon. That's that's what's about to happen. Oh man. Oh, look at this. Oh balanced blade. Damage increases up to plus 90% when you strike repeatedly, inflicts critical hits after 10 successive hits. The victim's remains explode. 20 damage. Um. Yeah. I mean, I... Believe me, I, I like what I'm reading. But it's not the scythe. It's just not the scythe. I would feel terrible trading it in. For something that doesn't have like a special ability like like this does, you know? We might be forced to. It is what it is. Anything up there? No. Alright, we know what time it is. So, 29. Um, you know, do a little bit of that. Spare weapon, I mean, it, it would be great. It really would. And I think we can drop weapons once we have that as well. Put a little bit in there, and uh, we'll put a little bit in the flask. Just spread around the love, right? We'll get there. Okay. So, this one is going to stick. I actually think I'm going to hold off for right now on those. And we'll just, we'll see what shows up. Um, we do have a deployed skill, so it makes sense to me that we use that one. Got to remember to put down our buddy. Just throw him down now and see if he uh, shows up in the beginning. Like I was saying, I, I just get used to him being out there. Yes, the situation is positively dire. But at least the sky is gorgeous. All right, let's, let's throw our buddy out there. I'm not moving forward until we uh, throw him out there. Come on. There we go. All right, now I feel protected. I will be putting down the deployed skill as well. There we go. You know what? Tired of you, Death. This is going really well. Wow.
That was outstanding. Okay, ice grenade. Biters crawl from the dead. Slow down after thaw spreads to nearby enemies. What do we have here? The Vorpan. 1% of HP recovered per attack. Close combat. Plus 100% damage. Oh. Plus 100% damage taken. No. No. Never again. <laughs> um, I mean, this does look interesting. But then we lose the deployed skill buff. So I'm going to say we're melting that down too. Okay. Well, that wasn't bad. Um, just trying to think if we want to go back to something that does flame. We have been using this for a minute. Plus well, 70% damage to a stunned target. Victim's remains explode. Drops a grenade when destroyed. Let's reforge this and see if we can get something fiery. No? One more. Plus 10% damage when you are near it. I like that. 75% rooted target. Shots pierce the first target. Okay. That's not bad. Um, I'm going to do one more on this, too. Oh, there we go. All right. That worked out pretty well. Uh, we probably want to give this dude... Ooh. Now we're up to 20% of the items will be of plus quality. Very cool. All right. And now we're going to feed this dude. Put him towards our backpack as well. And about the whip sword. Perfect. Full up on mutations at this point. I like the ones we have. That is an area that we cannot get to. And... I say we just go to the stilt village as normal and we see if we can get a run where uh, we make it to the clock tower and I don't know maybe we're successful there for the first time it's a really tough area oh man okay we have to make sure that those guys don't get to fire those off very often. Because that is a devastating attack, it turns out. And I definitely want to visit these areas as well. Ooh, I'm not sure what that was that I didn't pick up. Oh, nice money. All right. Let's warp back here. Yeah, you know, I took one of my slow starts to the day. I know it won't be Sunday when you're watching this, but it's Sunday for me. And uh, sometimes on Sundays, I, I like to I like to take a slow start. And uh, you know, I go downstairs, make some coffee, and I pop on a show. And lately, I have I don't know I've I've been on a war show kick. Um, some of these I just never got to. They're they're older shows, but you know, just didn't have HBO or whatever service at the time. And so uh, I watched the Pacific, uh, which is quite quite good. If if you haven't gotten to that one yet, um, and now I've moved to Band of Brothers. Which is just, uh, it's, it's tremendous. There's so many great actors in these shows. 
some of them might think this is, you know, kind of how they got their start out there, uh, which is interesting to see as well. Boy, some of these dudes can really take a beating, you know? Outstanding. Uh, you know, we haven't had any of these keys, so I'm gonna I'm gonna take this, but uh, just to melt it down. But where did it go? I swear I took it. The nutcrack. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yep, yep, yep. Got it, got it. Um, we didn't go down though. All the way. We're gonna come in. We might as well really do it, right? Okay. Well, I guess we didn't miss out on too much. What do we got here? Ice grenade again. Okay. I am not going to go with that. But I do like that we can melt the stuff down. And, you know, with as frequently as we are melting stuff down lately, probably want to look at... Uh, upgrading that capability so that you can get an even bigger multiplier on those items that, uh, oh, that was just bad luck falling on that thing, huh? All right, well, let's go on through. Right, look before you leap. What did he drop? Damage from projectiles reduced by 75%. Dodging plants a bomb. Uh, I like it, but I like the fire capabilities that we have more. We will take this, though. Okay. Let's grab that. Then we'll go mess these guys downstairs up. Uh, let's go with that. Our leg biter has got to be getting close to the mutation, I would think. Oh, man. Okay, so we need this. 2,900. I mean, we're almost there. Um... We're absolutely coming back for that. So that is right over there. 2,900. Okay, we're there. Let's go get it. This is going to be a lot stronger, I think. Let's see. So, 717 versus 611. That's wonderful. Let's do it. And we'll melt this down. And we are ready to rip, folks. go in there. Let's see what we can see, right? Oh, no, no. We won't be doing that. We know where that leads. Not this time, folks. Not this time. You
you know, at some point, when I feel uh, a lot more experienced, I need the key still, apparently. Uh, I will, I will attempt that area again. There it is. I bet that's the one. And we'll get through it. Got the roll right when he threw his grenade. That worked out well. Alchemy equipment. It's top-notch equipment. I wonder what it's doing here. I'm almost sure it's harmless to swallow one of these things. Wait, what? What? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. All right. Wonderful. A pile of letters damaged by the damp conditions. Illegible. A lot of unused items. Okay. Good deal. Now we're cooking with gas. Alright, we are on our way, folks. We need our guy to mutate. Twenty-six cells. All right, so let's take a look here and see if there's anything we can open. No. So we'll we'll split them up again. Uh, I, I neglected the backpack a little bit. I uh, definitely want to do this. Plus 100% damage to a target covered in burning oil. Well, it raised the damage up quite a bit, which is great. I think this weapon is going to be extremely helpful in what is a very difficult area. Uh, maybe we could see the boss this time. Um, I'm going to be careful. I'm going to do the best I can. Just happy to be back here, really. What's this thing? I'm gonna go back and see what that thing is in a minute. All right, let's go down there and see what that is. Iron Staff. The first hit allows you to parry melee hits. The combo inflicts critical hits after a successful parry. Okay, this is uh, this is a legendary, I believe. VL. I think the L is for legendary. Cool. All right. Y'all got any of them legendary sides? Huh? Maybe. I mean, it's worth coming back and getting those guys just to have their souls. Okay, so far, this is working out really, really well. Um, all right, we'll do the warp thing. Oh my goodness. Like I was talking about earlier, it's those guys that hit you with the projectiles from far away. I don't know where this has put us, but... Small bag. Bag containing various items of no interest. How about, how about some chicken? Hmm, there's a letter folded up at the bottom. I realize the risk I'm taking by writing this letter. The king's methods are getting us nowhere, and the situation is deteriorating. We have to switch a more peaceful method immediately. I've spoken with the alchem. The letter ends abruptly. Oh, my. Oh, okay. Hmm, this guard thought it was a good idea to install a secret desk. If the guards started conducting strange experiments, too, it's no wonder they ended up with monsters everywhere. No, there must be more. 
Really? Okay. Alright. Nothing more we can do. Glad to see the souls still waiting there for us. Climbing high now. Okay. Uh, I'm thinking we throw them in the green. Oh, jeez. All right. We got the zoomies. Here, damage from projectiles reduced by 75%. Dodging plants of bomb. Um, no. I don't think so. Not this time. What is that down there? Okay, that's our ability. Hey. Oh, gosh. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Ooh. God, we're getting a bunch of these stat boosts. Um, I am leaning towards that. the ground when destroyed. I like that. We just don't have the Do-Re-Mi for it. Can't unlock it. We need the Bell Tower key. Oh, goodness gracious. I, I worked out okay. Clockmaker's key. Um, all right, I think we officially need to warp now. Perhaps go up the other way. Oh, we're gonna take a drink prior. Dang it. I tried to roll out of the way, but I was kind of stuck in the attack at that point. Um. Wow. I don't want any of these guys coming back to haunt us, but I do want their souls. Uh, I'm gonna go with the... I'm gonna go with the plus 32% to health. Okay, so we don't have the key for that yet. But we are now up here. Going up. Tried to roll. Didn't get it off in time. Let's do that. Oh, 
Made it that time. Alright, something good. Oh my. Plus 100% damage to a target covered in burning oil. Launches a grenade. Just don't need it. That said, I really do like that weapon as well. Oh, that is outstanding. All right, I'm not gonna go back down there. Launches a grenade. Victims burn when they die. Yeah. You're probably looking at the cross too. I'm going, nope. Nope, not that again. Um, well, I think we did the thing in this area. Um, so where do we need to go? Probably to the right and up, that's my guess. Come over here again, we've not. Uh, we've kind of been up this area a little bit, maybe just not all the way. Okay, so we use the clockmaker's key. It's nice. Oh my. Let's do it. Passage to the clock room. Officially the furthest we have been so far. Uh, let's go towards the backpack and just get that sucker opened up. Allows you to carry a spare weapon. Hold the interact button to empty the backpack. Cool. Okay. Do we want to reforge at all? I don't know that we do. I think we're good. But we're good on mutations as well. Uh, here's hoping that whatever this boss is, if it's still the assassin, I fought the assassin years ago. Um, I just hope that the assassin has some henchmen. You know? So that we can take advantage of our scythe. The timekeeper overlooks almost the whole island from here. Well, those loading screens go fast, don't they? Timekeeper, okay. Oh, gosh. Well, we've got an upgraded, mutated leg biter out here with us. So far, we're looking okay. Let's finish this. Are you going to get all your health back? No. No, you're not. Oh! Okay. This won't end well. Did we win? Yes! Well, that is awesome. Okay, so let's see what we got here. Leg Hugger 7. Just burn when they die. Oh, wow. Okay, so I... The only thing is... Alright, wait a second. We can get a second one. Wait a minute. Can I... take this in place of... 
scroll. Right, right, right. Not sure what it's asking me here because I want to take it in place of the left trigger item so that I can have two leg hugger. I, I'm, I'm gonna confirm, I, I guess. Okay, so he's out there. And then this is... Boy, I am... I'm confused. Uh, but I'm gonna melt that down, I, I guess. Um, and we can just recycle that, so we don't need it. Oh! Oh, you're here. Sadly, we can't access my father's castle a second time. Once we leave it, he can prevent us from setting foot in the castle again. You have to choose the entry you want to use, either from the prison or from this room, but never both. Oh. Right. So he, he did explain that to us at one point. I've never been here. Okay, let's put a few in here. Then let's give the rest to the health flask. Good on mutations. There's the High Peak Castle. What's down here? Unlock. The crown... Oh, that's what the crown key is for. The only thing is... All right, you know what? Let's let's see what's in here, at least. Oh, what is going on out here? This looks like a separate area. All right, I'm going back. Because I'd like to see what the next area is in the vanilla experience is, but now we know what that key is for. Please leave your shoes at the entrance. Reach the castle for the first time. Indeed. Boy, they are just really pulling on me for that electric whip, aren't they? Yes, they are. Nope. Not gonna do the cursed treasure where it's a one hit kill on us. Hmm. People fled this room hastily, judging by the mess they left behind. I wonder who they were. No enemies yet. It's a little odd. Ah, there we go. Oh. Some of those guys just really do a good job of... Whoa! Holy cow! Let's get out of there! What the hell was that all about? Note to self, stay the hell away from that guy. Alright, let's go HP. I want to make sure to. Oh. I want to make sure I don't die just because I hadn't used some health. Oh no. Not again. I have to say, I'm not a huge fan of getting hit beyond the walls when 
we're not allowed to do that with our capabilities, as far as I know. Cross. Huh. Do we want to cross? This is a store. Victims burn when they die. Okay, so could I get this and replace? So it won't... It won't let me replace the other capability for some reason. And I've had two leg huggers in the past, so I'm... I'm not sure why it won't let me do that. 60% damage to a bleeding target, plus 80% damage to a poison target. Victims freeze nearby enemies when they die. I mean, that would be interesting. This will let me do that. Uh, let's go ahead. Let's, let's take Maria's cat. Melt that down. Now that way I don't have to remember to fire it off. Right? I know I don't get the advantage of that one mutation. But I think I actually make out better with this. And now we've got that freeze capability as well. Maybe I'd think about re-rolling those. I don't know. Oh, goodness. Wow. Well, I guess we're fighting this guy. Yeah, pretty well. Oh, key to the castle. All right. So then we did need to come this way. That pretty much confirms it. Oh, wow. Whoa. All right, let's uh, not die. Smoke him if you got him, right? Okay, uh, we're gonna cross back over. Yeah, I think we could probably get some better traits on the cat. Now, something lining up to fire is what I'm thinking. That said, the freeze thing is cool for now. Oh god, this guy. Leg hugger's like, I don't care. Soldier's resistance, okay. Oh, let's get out of there. Get up there. Guessing we'll... Oh, man, that, that looks pretty ominous, doesn't it? No, unless we just find the door that we've got to open, because we've already got the key. Painting. A great big room for a great big painting. The seal of the king is recognizable at the center, as for the rest. Okay. See, now, wait a second. Why is that, why is that there? That's, that's my question. Just in the nick of time on that one. Take this. Let's go with that. We got a lot of green gear. Oh, okay, so we've met back up with uh, the area we've already covered at this point. 
don't like that guy. Ow, oh, that was unfortunate. And another door that we can cross over into. I guess we'll do that. Now we're in a different spot altogether. Love the music for this area. Ah. All right, we're gonna need to take a sip. You can miss me with all of those, thank you. Get him, leg hugger. Oh, now, okay. Well, I guess we're fighting it. went all right. Oh, another castle key. I'm just going to jump down here and avoid that guy this time. need some health. Uh, well, I guess we could go this way and head down. I have a feeling, no, oh, oh, I have a feeling it's that red door. Yeah, I think we're gonna have to cross over. Let's do it. Show us the gate. No, 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 no. We don't need to, we didn't need to do that. I, I guess we did. Oh God. I thought they were both dead because they dropped the thing. Well, it's, uh, oh, it's been an enjoyable run. I figured it was gonna end very soon. Folks, uh, thanks so much for continuing to hang out with me and enjoy some Dead Cells. Uh, I'm so glad that I've come back for this game. There's so much to like about it. That was a great run. Uh, definitely the farthest we've been so far. And next time around, I'll go a little bit further into that area that... Uh, the octopus keeps giving us the key for. I just figured this time I wanted to see what the vanilla looked like and that that was probably connected to one of the three or four DLCs that I bought. Anyway, hope you enjoyed the run. If you did, let me know in the comments and uh, while you're down there participating, uh, do me a favor, hit the like button. And if you're new to the community, we'd love you to not be new anymore. Uh, stick around, hit that sub button click the bell thing, the bell looking thing. I don't know what it does. Uh, it does something. One way to find out, right? You have a wonderful rest of your day, and we'll do this again sometime soon. We'll play a roguelike or a roguelite, because that's what we do every single time. Okay, you take care out there. Goodbye!